Hey everyone, thanks so much for coming to watch this video. I'm going to show you 14 awesome balloon tricks. The first one I'm going to show you is how to make 35 water balloons at a time. This is a set I bought called Bunch of Balloons, and each set like this has 35 balloons. I just used my top, but I think it's meant for a hose, so you can just attach this little base here. There's a seal, you attach it to your hose, and it fills up 35 balloons at once. Genius, the person who created this, I have to admit. I personally think this is the best trick of all, but I'm going to use these balloons to actually create more tricks, so that's why this is in the video. So let's move on to our next trick, which is making a water balloon pillow. This trick may seem super simple, yet I think it's super practical if you really did need a pillow. So let's say you're out camping and you forgot yourself a pillow, you can easily fill these balloons up with water and you can create yourself a pretty comfortable pillow. So as long as the weight is distributed um, evenly across the pillow, they shouldn't pop. And then when you wake up in the morning, you can have yourself a water fight. But I think that looks pretty comfortable to rest your head on. Moving on to our third balloon trick is water balloon ice pack. So again, we're using these water balloons that we have created to put to better use. So we are going to freeze them this time and we have created some ice packs. So you can easily put them in a cooler like so or in your lunch bag or whatever. If you do put them in your lunch bag, you probably want to put them in a sealed Ziploc bag just in case they do pop or leak. But the best part is, let's say you're out at the zoo or it's a hot day, you can take your frozen balloon and use it to cool you down as well as keep your food and your drinks cool. So this is my top favorite balloon trick. The fourth balloon trick I'm going to show you is to create yourself a phone case. So again, this is actually quite practical. Again, if you are out camping or something and you need something to protect your phone. So you blow up a balloon, you don't tie a knot, you just hold the tip, not firmly, but like, you know, a little bit loose, and you put a lot of pressure on your phone into the balloon, not to the point where it's going to pop because the air is coming out of the tip, but just enough to push it below the sort of balloon line and you want the foam to touch the ground first and you'll see how it sucks right around. And this is so easy to do. I did it on my first try and it seals in quite nicely. And I love the grip that it provides your phone. And you know, if again, if you're going for a boat trip or whatever, this is a really, really, really super easy way to make your phone a little bit more waterproof. Moving on to our next trick is very similar to the phone case, so it's the disc case or the disc cover. If you have all these CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays laying around and you just can't find the case anymore, use a balloon. And the best part about this, which I think is pretty cool, is that you can write on it what it is. So maybe this one is for your summer videos or for your summer photos. Just so easy and it makes the disc so small without the case which I think is perfect for storing or packing or whatever. Our sixth balloon trick is how to use science to inflate a balloon. So we're going to use the classic vinegar and baking soda combination. So we're going to have a bottle, any bottle is fine, and you want to have a funnel. So we're going to pour some vinegar in, and the best part about this is that you really don't need any sort of specific measurements. So the more you put in, obviously the more... Um, which I say exploding power you're gonna have. So just be careful with that. So we're gonna put our balloon onto the funnel and now we're gonna put the baking soda actually in the balloon. So again, you don't need specific amounts, but just warning you that the more you use a baking soda or vinegar, the more your balloon's gonna inflate and uh, just be prepared for that. So you wanna put the balloon on with it flopped over like so. And when you're ready, you lift the balloon up and check that out. It's going to inflate your balloon. As you can see, there's a lot of energy going on with that baking soda and vinegar. And just my point is you want to make sure that your balloon is very much sealed to that bottle or else you're going to be in for a very large mess. So again, make sure that it's tightly sealed to your bottle. And then after that, you have a balloon that was inflated with science. So much fun.
seventh balloon trick is the balloon dart. This is also a very simple one and actually quite dangerous if you're not careful as it creates a ton of power. So with your bottle, you're gonna cut off the lid and then you're gonna grab a balloon and you're gonna cut off the tip. With these two, you're gonna duct tape them together to create sort of your bow, I should say. So it's gonna create obviously sort of like an elastic light pullback and snap. You wanna track down some sort of sharp pointy stick. This is a cuticle pusher. It's wood, it's sharp, so I figured it was perfect and it's easy to hold on to. So pinching the stick and the balloon, you wanna pinch back and release. And I think this was about my second try that I actually got it in. And it had so much power that it shot straight through the other side of this Chinese pear. I was totally blown away by the power and um, obviously I didn't do it that far away. So it would be a pretty fun experiment to see how far you can shoot your little dart. Next balloon trick will be to turn our fidget spinners into colorful fidget spinners. So if you do have a fidget spinner and you're interested in seeing what happens if you put different colors on each of the ends, you can just use balloons, snip them off, and then have fun spinning it to see what sort of colors you create. All right, let's spin this and see what it looks like. Definitely liking the way it looks. It's quite different from the original format of the fidget spinner. Very neat. Our next trick is creating a balloon vase, or vase, whatever you say. So you need a bottle, and you can actually decorate this bottle however you like. I'm just gonna take off the label for now as I do like seeing the balloon come through. So I've chosen a clear bottle and I have this very pretty balloon that I'm going to use. So you're going to carefully put it in your bottle without dropping it in there, hooking it over the rim, and then you want to be careful putting water in it as it is a little vase for flowers. And sometimes the balloon gets stuck together. So you just want to be very careful when you pour the water in. Um, it might not go in right away. And then if you have some beautiful, colorful flowers around, of course you want to try out this vase that you made. Now I'm going to show you how to make an Orbeez stress ball. And in this case, it's not even called Orbeez, as I got these from Michael's and they call them, I think, Water Pearls. So Orbeez is a brand name. I have a clear balloon and I have my little funnel here. And I'm kind of excited to try this because I'm just going to pour a ton of these little balls in this balloon and there's only so much water that I'm going to be able to fit so I'm curious to see how this turns out. Okay so for the water time and again as you can see the water is um, having a hard time going in the balloon because there's really not that much space and obviously the balloon needs to expand but it's hard when you're trying to put water in. I suppose you could put it on a tap um, but you just have to watch that the little balls don't fly out as you do that. Alright, once you're happy with the amount of water that you have in your balloon, you will just tie a very secure knot and then wait, 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 wait until you are happy with how they look. And I'm going to show you halfway here and then I'm going to show you the final results. So this is halfway. You can see that they're kind of big but still a little bit small but I love how they're all smushed in there. And this is my final product. I just think this looks so amazing. It almost kind of looks like beehive or something like that but I really like the look that it creates when they're all shoved in there nice and tight. To make a stress ball with flour is super easy. You just need a balloon, a funnel, and some flour. And having flour around the house is a little bit more realistic than having those water pearls or Orbeez. And flour actually gives a very soothing um, 
and unique texture when it's inside a balloon. So it's actually something that I think would relieve stress. So it's super easy, just keep tapping your little funnel here until your balloon is nice and full, tie a knot, and then I did have some fun with this by putting a happy face on it, which hopefully will help relieve some stress as well. But the best part is that these are so stretchy and so mushy, I definitely recommend trying this if you feel like you need a stress ball. Here's a little trick in case you're desperate. I don't recommend this on a daily basis, but if you are just so desperate for an eraser and the only thing you have available is a rubber balloon, you can use it as an eraser because yes, it is rubber and it does work. It's not perfect, but it definitely gets the job done. Our second last trick that we're gonna show you is just purely for fun. So if you have a disc that you're not using, we're gonna show you how you can float it around. So I have this little syringe here that I'm gonna cut into a little cylinder. If you have a cylinder of some sort laying around, you can use that too. So you wanna create something that can attach to your disc and to your balloon at the same time. So I'm just gonna cut this off and I'm gonna glue gun it to my disc and then we'll attach the balloon and have some fun. Okay, so here's our crazy balloon and we're gonna blow it up and you're gonna twist the bottom so the air doesn't come out and then that way you can put it on without the air coming out and then untwist it and watch your disc float around. And obviously I have a little wall there that it runs into but if you had a bigger space, it would just fly around pretty quick. Our 14th trick is totally practical, so let's say you're the type of person that keeps losing your lids for all your jars or whatever. This is for you. So similar to the sort of phone case idea is you're going to blow up the balloon and not tie a knot and you're just going to push it onto your jar or whatever, your container, and it seals it perfectly. So right now I'm using coconut oil, which is hard, so obviously you're probably thinking, oh, well, it doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna show you with a jar of salsa that it really does suction to the jar and it creates a very good seal. So make sure that you try this carefully because sometimes it doesn't work. So you wanna make sure that you have your hand on the jar with quite a bit of pressure. And I'm slowly gonna tip it just in case, but it really does seal to the jar and look at that, a whole jar of salsa on that balloon. So this works very well the end of our video so thank you so much for watching our 14 awesome balloon tricks please make sure you guys comment which is your favorite and make sure you subscribe like and share thanks so much everyone